It's that time of the year when Rio Grande Valley's wild red-crowned parrots begin searching out potential nest cavities for raising young. Native to northeastern Mexico and southernmost Texas, red-crowned parrots have increased their numbers dramatically north of the Rio Grande and neighborhoods throughout the valley. Historically, their population in northeastern Mexico through the 1950s was estimated to be 100,000 adult birds. However, due to habitat loss and pet trade, Mexico's wild flocks dipped dramatically, and only some 2,000 are thought to remain south of the border. While red-crowned parrots were documented in deep south Texas as far back as mid-1700s by priests and early travelers, and sporadically in following decades, it was not until mid-1980s that red crowns became established nesters in the Rio Grande Valley. Coincidentally, peak of legal pet trade and red crowned parrots peaked during this time, and the United States Fish and Wildlife Service tallied 16,490 nestlings legally imported into the United States between 1970 and 1982, with an equal number believed to have been illegally exported. Not only were there undoubtedly many escapees during this time of active parrot imports, but a severe freeze in 1983 and another in 1989 killed many non-native Washingtonian palms that left standing provided ideal nesting cavities for red crowns. It was not until 1982, with the passage of the Wild Bird Conservation Act, that international trade restrictions were imposed, strictly limiting legal import of parrots. Fortunately, red-crowned parrots are now protected by state law, and many cities have ordinances safeguarding them. A recent study by Texas A&M University pegged urban parrot population in the Rio Grande Valley at 900 red crowns. Coupled with flocks thriving in Florida and California cities, red crowns in the United States now number close to 5,000, which far exceeds their dwindling population in Mexico. Red-crowned parrots have shown a remarkable adaptation to city life, and what a tropical flair they bestow to wildlife of the Rio Grande Valley. With your Outdoor Report, I'm Richard Moore.